Welcome in then to the latest edition of Extra Time. Thank you very much for your tweet. Casey, Frank and Craig uh, alongside me. That was a nervy... Uh, yeah, we watched it together, didn't we? Evening. Was, I was pretty calm. You were calm. Either way, if England was... Yeah. If England scored nothing, when Italy scored nothing, no. didn't want to give anything away. No, I was excited. You were banging the table and the chair was getting fuller towards the screen and then, <laughs> yeah, towards well, the end of the game. When, when, when Whenever Pe England got a corner kick, yeah. like, come on! Yeah. <laughs> and and it really helped. Here's the chance. It yeah, really helped. Here's the chance. No. When Pickford saved from Jorginho, I thought, mate, that good that's when I got excited. Yeah. And then... Saka obviously missed the penalty, and that's that. You didn't even answer to my texts when I say, "Are you sweating?" Oh, oh yeah, wow! I, what am I gonna? I hate it. What do you want me to? Everyone texts me during the just game. For, just I'm not looking at polite, my... politeness, you know. <laughs> the, 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 the... We were sat, we were sat during the game, and we kept saying, "Where's Frank?" <laughs> yeah, I think well, we said that we were like, <laughs> "No, <laughs> this is good." He said to me to make sure that I wouldn't come. He said, "I'm gonna watch him from my home." Yeah, and then and I was gonna come here, in afterwards. But he didn't tell me because he didn't want to see me next to him. How excited are England fans that they only have to wait a year and four months to start that it's coming home oh, stuff my again? God. It's possible to England to have some hopes for, for, for the World Cup. Oh, we can't talk about the World Cup already, Frank. I'm tired of well, everything, everything already. The question is, that was... starts like tomorrow. So, I mean, it's tomorrow. <laughs> How many teams are in this World Cup? 64? <laughs> yeah. I think we should yeah, be all right. And by the way, have you seen, uh, on a slightly different note, UEFA have uh, thrown it out there, there could be 32 teams. In there? Well, yeah, uh, right, that's all right. Yeah, that's going to be just fun. Just everybody it's going to be like Copa America. Uh, everybody <laughs> just plays everybody. I, li I lived in Qatar, and I tell you, I'm sure there, is, there aren't any uh, I mean, hotels enough to get like uh, all teams in different hotels. Right. So I guess some uh, some teams will have to share some hotels. Okay. So are they going to be, gonna be fun? Are they going to lift Wembley? Going to put the German and the English together? <laughs> <laughs> are they going to lift Wembley and put it in Qatar somehow so that England can play all the games at Wembley? Again? Uh. <laughs> because that was a nonsense. I mean, this this tournament was wholly unfair for a lot of teams and a lot of fans. Right, yeah, but an absolute Spain. nonsense from UEFA, particularly in these conditions. Greg, it's the same for Spain and Italy. We played the first three games yeah. at home. Well, Denmark as well. Denmark, yeah, but then, Russia. But you look at Denmark, who had to travel then from but, Baku. But then, oh yeah, that was after. Yes. Yes. after. Like they England... did play at home, but then they were on the road. Yes, yeah, true. That's true. Yeah. We had England on the road once. Yeah, but football was created and in England. And fans had to travel. Oh, there we go. And were limited by travel. England didn't win, so it doesn't because of the anymore. COVID. I mean, it's just, just a nonsense. We discussed this on the show. Why Some of the football was good. Why is a 19-year-old yes. taking the last penalty for England when yeah. where is the hype man Listen, Jack Greenwich? I am not. Do you remember? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Raheem Sterling was still on the field. Yes. At the end, right. Yep. Sterling right. was on. At times in this tournament, Raheem Sterling has been. And I I was astonished. I'd been the free kick taker for England. Yep. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. scratch my head going. But he was right. So if if you deem him better than Harry Kane or somebody to take a free Mason, kick, Mason Mount. Mason Mount and others, then you deem him somebody who's good enough to take a set piece, right, penalty kick. But if I'm an experienced player yeah. for my country, I'm not comfortable in my own skin sitting back and watching these yes. younger players yeah. take that. Take yeah, Sterling's that, taking some penalties and shoot out. Take that water. huge responsibility. Yeah. I, and, and you can talk about, well, he wanted to take it and he were Sometimes you've got to step forward and say, you know, push people aside and say, listen, there might not be another occasion like this. I'm the experienced guy. I'm taking the That's penalty. what he should be. He should have, he should have done. Well, it's easy but to say, but... I think, and also, I think you can uh, put your foot down and say, no, no, when you're the coach and say, I'm sorry, Saka, you don't shoot. Right. Because you know, in case he misses it, what's going to be the, yeah. the you know, I think we were the all future. surprised when we saw Saka yeah. stepping up. It was yeah. like, wow. No, agreed. You know, you're like, poor kid. Yeah, I, I think it was a really, you know, talking about Grealish, talking about Sterling, talking about guys that have a big presence, that are happy to voice their opinion on yeah. every matter across the sun, which is brilliant. You have that. But then step up when you need it, and I, we don't know. We, you know, obviously in the in the press conference, uh, Gareth said, you know, this was my decision. But where did that decision come from? Yeah. Did it come because in the week before, right. none of those players stepped up in practice and in training and said, yeah, I'm your guy. 
or did they? And he overruled them. You know, John Stones as well. Jo John Stones yeah. is, a, a, is an elegant footballer. Yeah. Right. Very, very good passer of the ball. Very yeah. good striker of the ball. Clean striker of the ball. Experienced player. The way he didn't shoot. Yeah. You know, Frank took penalties as a centre half. Yes. Benucci stepped up. Harry Maguire stepped up. Yeah. yeah. You know, I look at players like that ahead of yeah. teenagers. Laurent Blanc, yeah. Beckenbauer. Tell me, you have nice journalists because I I, I heard the yeah. press, press conference. I know. They were congratulating. Well, yeah, uh, like that was the softballs there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, I know. Wait, <laughs> like you, you wait till they start they writing. They have one question <laughs> each because it's all on the end. Yeah. Like, oh, commiserations. commiserations. How's the feeling at camp? No, it's why did you make a 19-year-old take that final penalty? Right. And you've got to be hard, but that's maybe why we're sat here. And we're not allowed say, to talk to people. Maybe. <laughs> but ourselves. And you know the worry is, I, I, is you know, there is going to be uh, abuse for these players. Yes, mm -hmm. from, yeah, idiots. Sure. Media, yeah. from, from idiots. From, from, from idiots and morons, but it's coming their way. And you can only you can only applaud these people for stepping up in that sure, pressure, yeah. not abuse them. Because yeah. Yeah. you know it's coming. That's the world no, we live yeah, yeah. in. That's the world yeah. that we live in. People I, sat I, in their pants at home. Who I, have, oh, no, sure. exactly. yeah. I applaud these guys. And social guys media gives you that penalties. ability. No, yeah, yeah. I don't applaud the manager. No, 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 but no, I, right. I applaud these young yeah. players yes. Yes. for yes. having the, the stomach to step yes. up. Yes, right. yeah. true. Stevie missed the penalty in the European Cup final, didn't he, when he was a teenager? Look what happened no, there. I don't feel sorry for him. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a blessing in disguise that now Gareth Southgate will be hopefully replaced by someone more progressive? He's not going anywhere, Southgate. He's just signed, I would, a, I mean, but I he signed you... a new contract. Right. He's really? there for the long time. He's going to stay? Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. yeah but I think Everybody loves have... him. I, but I think it's very similar to kind of Deshaun, to a point. Yeah, but Deshaun won the World Cup. I, I know he won the World Cup, <laughs> but, but, but Southgate has a semi-final and a final. For England, after yeah, well, France, France lost the final at home as well, right? And this kept him, right? And kept Deschamps, and they won the. the... But he, he obviously had a little bit more equity. No, no, well, that's, from I'm, I'm fine with that. If if he's ready to change a little bit something in his mind, and the, the way we want to see have football, is we've all seen a side that has a hundred-year history of being very defensive. Yeah. yeah. Change that. Yeah. Change. And become attractive style. Mm. Uh, and there's no reason why this English yeah. side, with the players yeah. they have, the young players coming through, they can't mimic that. Yeah, Gareth Southgate yeah. Casey has built a very good PR vehicle mm -hmm. uh, in his time there. They, he's harnessed a, a fantastic relationship with, with, with management and players in the media. It's, 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 it's worked very well for them, it's worked very well for the media. But in the cold light of day, with the players they've got, the, the, the analysis I think it has to be asked, is the pragmatism within that approach going to hold England back yeah. from the next right. step? Yeah, right. that, that brings us to the next question, actually. It seems to me Mancini was able to utilise every ounce of talent he had at his disposal to make Italy champions. I don't feel Southgate even used quarter of the talent at his disposal. If this continues the case, then England will do another Belgium with Southgate waste all this talent. Well, that's a very good point because there's every chance uh, that, that could happen. It was unfortunate for Belgium that when Wales embarrassed them at the Euros under Chris Coleman, uh, and deservedly so, the Belgium FA realised that Mark Vilmots was out of his depth yeah. as a coach with this talent. And Martinez come in as a, as a renowned coach of attacking football and blah, blah, blah. But unfortunately for him, it, this World Cup came around when a lot of his guys were actually, yeah. actually at the wrong age or hadn't played or, well all season. Yeah. Or injured. banged up at the and, wrong time. And banged up, yeah. and he, he, he was juggling. Sure. So that kind of affected, the, 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 affected them. Well, I don't know what I want to say, but whatever. Okay, Frank, well, let's move whatever. on to the next question. You, you never normally have a problem uh, thinking Can Chiellini go down I'm as one... I'm thinking too much, that's my problem, you know. Can, can Chiellini, Frank, go down as one of the best defenders of this generation? Well, In my he, opinion, he was man of the match today, and without him, Italy would have lost. He, he, you have to recognise that what he did throughout the tournament is absolutely exceptional. I think he was. I thought. I really thought before the competition, maybe the competition too much, you know. Yeah. And uh, he's quite over. He struggled at Juve and blah blah blah. I have to tell you, I saw him during the uh, extra time asking the ball on the left side, you know, overtaking his teammate, asking for the ball uh, offensively. I say, wow, the guy is 37. Right. Yeah. That's physically huge what he's capable of doing. And I saw during the national anthem, 
smiling. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm living my last big competition. <laughs> I have goosebumps, you know, think, yes. thinking of that. Uh, yeah. The guy he was enjoying, like we saw with yeah. Jordi Alba and everything. Yes. Every minute of the of the of the tournament that he was going through and all the games he was going through, that's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I and think particularly with an Italian side Adolf. that even you know Del Piero talked about it a lot during this tournament. There was no superstars. The no. superstars no. really were, and, and if you can call defenders superstars, but yeah. were, were the two center backs, the most uh, decorated, obviously winning everything with yeah, Juve the and everything, and being you know this this pair yeah. bringing Chiellini back out of international retirement and all that. But it wasn't a Pirlo or a Del Piero or a Totti no. or you know no. these, you know, and so they did it with a bunch of guys. Well, this is a tournament. Those who haven't seen Serie A much will look at. Um, look at Chiesa and go, he's going to be special. Yeah, no, you yeah. well, Barella as well. Yeah. So he's, he's got a chance to start to... of the tournament. No, no it was yeah. only no, when he, he didn't even play the first two matches. That's the thing or... that I wanted to say before that I forgot. Oh. It's, uh, it's about it's Gary Sousey's choices. Where for, I take the example that I know the best. In 98, where you have the Trezeguet and Henry, Henry scored the, in, during the first game. He scored two goals, I think, the second or third games. Yeah. Didn't play the final. Right. Because they, Jackie had a priority of the game. So, and again, I love Darren Sterling and he did he can't very drop well. Raheem Sterling for the final. How come you cannot drop? Because he was one of the best players well, yeah, of the tournament. Yeah, but it doesn't mean anything. It, 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 it does. depends what you need against the team you play against. You, I think of Foden, and we talked about that. Foden's Mount, injured, he couldn't play. Well, some others, like let's say Mount and Grealish, because Grealish couldn't play because Ryan Sterling was playing. Well, why don't you just play them both? Because it's impossible according to all the press, all the <laughs> pundits, and Sorry. all and, and Kyle Southgate. So, you have to think about your lineup according to the, the, the team you're going to play against, not me, because he had a good game before. Let me just go back to the Chiellini uh, and Benucci as well, but, but yeah. Chiellini in particular. You know, you don't care about just what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what it is. That's really, what a custard pie. It, yeah, no, it was really good, but I just think <laughs> the Chiellini. Well, I'm being sarcastic. 37, uh, 36 or 37, whatever. 37. 37. How many times in this competition Elite level, elite level was Chiellini exposed. Not too much. I mean, he got exposed in the, at the end by Saka. When yeah, with the old. But I don't really. How many times was he exposed as a defender? Hardly ever. Yeah. What are you saying? I, well, and what I'm saying is, is some people say, well, that was a great defender in, the, in that team when they defend on the edge of the box. Right. But Italy don't defend on the edge of the box. Right. They sometimes, quite a lot, they press. And that leaves a guy at that age exposed. But he is, at the moment, the best at knowing when to get tight. Right. Yeah. And when to say, I need to give myself five yards here without being too deep. Sure. True. And when we talk about great defenders, and we know uh, our colleague Stevie Nichol gets upset about Sergio Ramos, because he makes, he's won everything, everything, and Chiellini has as well. But here's the difference between the two. Chiellini's decision-making defensively is generally and has been immense. Because also it works career. very well with his teammates, with Bonucci. They right. know it, and they could cover each other, so it helps a lot as well. How pivotal has Jorginho been for... Oh, no, wait, sorry. Does going first in a penalty shootout actually give you an advantage? As every game that went to pens in the Euros, the team that went first won. Well, it's the statistics are showing that. Yeah, so no it. question about it. I mean, it's showing that the pressure on the second shooter yeah. is more. Yeah. And that, and then being able to... need to bring back ABBA. Oh, okay. Do you remember that? What? The A B B A A B B A. When yeah, so, they, you know, so then you they know, would mix up you know, the penalty that's really, I, I, I've been in that situation a lot. No. I never thought about my first or second position. My only concern was I need to score that goal. It's a really, it's really an individual. But if somebody scored ahead of you, say I you're second. It, oh, okay. I didn't think about it. Right. Well, you've got to nice. score. You got, to, you've still got your job right. to do. Right. Yeah. I see. So, oh, he scored, so I have to score. No, it doesn't work like that. Right. You have to score anyway. So okay. if you didn't score, you have to score. So I never thought that way. But I, clearly, it does have an effect if statistically. Well, yeah. but because people correct. start thinking too much. Maybe, maybe they're smarter Chelsea than Millwall. we were. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Who, <laughs> went, who, who went first? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who did go first? 
We did. Oh. Well, I scored my penalty. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I care about. I don't care if we went out, which we did. But how I pivotal? How pivotal? <laughs> I've never mentioned it. <laughs> how pivotal has Jorginho been for Chelsea in Italy this year, especially after getting ghosted at the start of the season and winning two major tournaments at the end? Is he the most underrated player in the football right now? He's playing for Chelsea and was starting for Italy. You can't be too underrated. No, but people, do people but, give but, him enough love, Casey? Um, look, he's People on. get excited about Angolo Kante. Yeah, but you, you, I mean... Yeah, he's a different I'm, player I'm, than Kante, I'm, but... You. I can be very critical towards uh, Jorginho still. I think he's not. He's a creator. Oh. He's somebody whom you're going to make sure... He doesn't... He's not going to lose any ball. He's won the Euros. Yeah, but did he, did he won alone? Mm? Or he won with teammates? No, but We they were just talking about Chiellini and Bonucci. Football <laughs> is... It's a collective sport, and you have to put that, please, people, in, in your mind, that you don't win a lot. Messi didn't win yesterday. Uh, Jorginho didn't win today a lot. But he was part of a team that did you know, win. Of course, he has, I give him credit. So why don't you like him? But it's, it's not liking or not liking him. It's just I give him credit offensively, defensively, he has so many weaknesses. Wow. And if you don't have Christian Sen, Thiago Silva and Kante be, be with him, you don't win the Champions League. And if tonight you don't have Bonucci and, and, and Chiellini with him, you don't win the Euro. Oh. That's, that's simple. He's a fantastic player. He doesn't lose any ball. He makes the football maybe simpler. But defensively, when you're in the middle of the park, I'm sorry. I needed YZ. I needed um, uh, Didier Deschamps. And Chelsea needed Kante to win the Champions League. But Jorginho is not that type of player. But I thought Jorginho and Verratti shuffled, shuffled the ball around just yeah. brilliantly for Italy today. Sure. Little five and ten yards passes under pressure just to get it in, out and out the other side. Yeah. When you thought, oh, this is tight. England have got a few bodies here. It's what they're very good at. And, and they were brilliant at just three or four little passes out to the fullback. That's that's for sure. Yeah. They're very good at doing it. I know Jason. Frank hates Jorginho. I, I know, yeah. he really does. Because, because he plays for Chelsea. Yeah, yes. Frank hates. That's what he, yeah. And I hate this Germans. I, well, I guess <laughs> I, <laughs> I hate everybody, I think. Yes. I know Jose Mourinho is thinking about Luke Shaw right now, Casey, but what is he thinking? <laughs> that was some we're, finish, we're, wasn't it? It, wow. it, it was. And then we were, we were joking about it. Uh, that Mourinho's taking credit for it. Yeah. Because he said, look what I did. <laughs> I, I, I put him down to raise him back yeah, up. Yeah, that's right. And, and that he was able to, to score. But look, I mean, that's, it was a silly at the beginning of the tournament. I, I know that, you know, Mourinho was being paid by one of the papers to do his thing. And Mourinho's Mourinho. Yeah. And, and he's always going to, you know, but, but then for Shaw to jump back at him. Uh, and Shaw just... You had, the, you had a great tournament. He was Go the have best a great year for Man U. It was a fantastic finish in a Euro final. Don't worry about Mourinho. Final question. <laughs> Frank. Yeah. Are Italy the favourites for the World Cup? It's good to see Italy being back to where they normally are. Even, Georgi even though Jorginho. Even with Jorginho. <laughs> and with Jorginho on top of it. But, uh, well, I, I'm expecting a... A reaction from France. Uh, um, um, what about Belgium? I don't know if they're going to be that team. Would you? How, don't, how, you how about a reaction from Brazil, losing at home to Brazil? Argentina? Yeah, one Messi's got a taste of silver. Argentina, yeah, yeah feeling his back. Go. Messi's back. now. Uh, well, nah, the only thing is, I'm slightly oh. concerned that right. you know, there's a, uh, I believe tomorrow. Uh, there's a Gab and Jill's podcast, yeah? Right, oh. of course, yes. And Jill's struggles at the best of times to get a word done. Yes. Now that Italy have won, yeah. he might as well just stay in his bed. Yeah, or he could just replay the part at the start of the tournament where Gab said he would swap Turkey centre-backs with Italy's. Really? He was so and concerned about Benucci and Kielin. And yesterday he said that he saw England winning. Yep, he so maybe Italy. just play that. If we had England down as flops. It took a while, but they did flop in the air. <laughs> <laughs> we did, we, we did. We well, did. Uh, that is it. Just a reminder, just because the Euros are finished doesn't mean that we're finished. We will be still well, with you. I've heard differently. <laughs> we are still with you seven days a week. Uh, Frank's last show tomorrow. Yes. Uh, a special Frank. Right, his last show here. Hopefully you're going to no, use no, me. Your last show. Your last show. show. Yeah. You're done. That's, That's it. That's Too expensive. <laughs> Too expensive? Yeah. yeah, and you've got to change that jacket. <laughs> you don't like my jacket? <laughs> Beautiful. Right, Frank. <laughs> Let's go to the pub. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's forget about that. <laughs>
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.